I wanted to make a video about a really cool uh, bash command line utility called pass and basically what it is is it's a bash script that allows you to manage your passwords um, so shout out to the author here this is made by Jason Donenfeld and you can get it at his website here it's also in most major rep repositories uh, I actually coded my own bash script for doing basically this same thing a long time ago but this one just blows it out of the water it's so much better uh, what my script attempted to do was I had a file that was full of my passwords um, and before the password there was a keyword that separated the password from the keyword and it would encrypt that file and then when I typed in a key the command with a keyword it would go unencrypt the file pull the password out and show it to me and then encrypt the file again so the way that this improves upon that is well a lot of ways one it doesn't expose all of your files every time you decrypt the file uh, <clears throat> basically it just it works very simply so you start by just initiating uh, with pass init and then you put your gpg eight digit key in there and uh, it it initiates a password store that's uh, by default stored in your home directory at dot password store and you can see there's nothing in there right now but I can insert a password for example if I do pass insert test it'll ask me to insert a password for test and I'll just put in something here and now if I execute the command again you can see that my password is there and if we look again in that directory, it's basically made a GPG encrypted file there. That only if you if that uh, the GPG key that you initiated with is currently active, uh, will it decrypt it? And uh, I'm using a test one right now, so I don't have to keep inserting a password to show you. But usually, you'd have to insert a password every time that you decrypt or or not. Uh, but the nice thing is, it takes a lot of the pain out of your hands. For instance, if you want to make a new password, but you want to make a subdirectory, well, it's really easy. I can just type the subdirectories that I want this password to be in, and it'll automatically do that for you. And then you can put in your new password. It's making you retype just to make sure that you typed it correctly and didn't make a mistake. So now if I run the command again, you'll see that it has subdirectories and test2 is underneath these subdirectories so I could you know add additional uh, passwords like foo test3 uh, put that in like that and now you can see that test3 is under foo and so it makes a very simple way for instance you can put all of your uh, you know passwords for a certain website or something a lot of times uh, you know, a website will require you to remember more than one thing. Like maybe you forgot your username and your password. Well, you can have one for a username, one for a password, one for your PIN, one for, you know, the key, the streaming key or something like that. And uh, it comes by default now with if you installed uh, DMenu as well, which is a great utility as well. I might need to make a video just on that. But uh, it has a command called pass menu that basically opens up D menu and looks through your passwords and if I type in the password that I want it will uh, copy it to my clipboard and clip it and uh, clear it in a number of seconds of course you can change this and of course normally it would ask me to put in my password before that but for the purposes of, of this video I didn't want to keep typing a password over and over again we'll also uh, generate passwords for you with pass generate uh, you can also easily edit these passwords with pass edit and then just specify the password and it'll open it up in your default text editor. Great utility, really easy to install, no dependencies. There's also an excellent uh, Android app that I use and if you, you this makes it into a Git repository basically. Um, <clears throat> if you make this into a Git repository you can push it up to a, you know, a VPS or something and then pull it down to your phone and uh, you can decrypt these passwords on your phone so long as you import your secret key from your computer to your phone. Really easy. I uh, just can't speak highly enough of it. It does so much better than my old password script and uh, I fully adopted it and love uh, the way that it solves the problem by just using simple you know, file directories and, and files on, on the Unix uh, bash command line. So 
highly recommend. Thanks for watching. I plan to make a few more videos on some really, really cool utilities coming up soon.